In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my hospital bag and what's in baby's diaper bag for the hospital. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. This is the bag I'll be using. It is a rolly bag, but it's like carry-on size. Maybe a little bigger. But this is a Nicole Miller New York bag that my mom gave me. Thought it would be perfect for this. We packed it, but I'm going to go ahead and take everything out and show you and repack it a little neater because all this is not going to fit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start off with the clothes and things since that's what's mainly in the bag so far. And then I'll show you the rest because I have like a separate bag for like while I'm in labor, like a birth bag. So um, I'm trying for an all-natural V-bag water birth. So there's some tools that I'm going to be bringing to utilize for that as well that are a little bit separate from my actual bag. The first thing I have is my Vera Bradley makeup bag. This seems like a lot, but this is actually all like travel size makeup and then just my makeup brushes. This stays packed year round. It's just like little sample sizes and things of makeup so I don't have to carry so much. It's really actually pretty light. So I have that. I'm also bringing Miss Bradley's <laughs> travel size straightener. I'm not going to be doing much to my hair. But if I want to do something before I go home or if we're going to take some pictures in the hospital or something, I might pull this out and try to straighten my hair or something. Next, I have this dirty laundry bag. So th there's a bag inside of this bag for your dirty laundry. I'm bringing my sleek hair towel and this just helps your hair dry faster. I have taken a shower every time that I have given birth. This will be my third time giving birth in a hospital so um yeah I'm gonna bring this little hair towel bring some flip-flops for the shower because hospital showers are kind of gross maybe not but they seem like they could be so we're just gonna bring some flip-flops for that next is my underwear so the hospital does give you like the mesh underwear for after delivery but I'm just going to bring two pairs. I'm bringing these maternity underwear that I bought from Kindred Bravely. I'll leave them linked below. I absolutely love these maternity underwear for pregnancy and postpartum. I think they'll be great. They're super low. So if you have a C-section, it probably won't irritate your incision too much. And then I'm also bringing these Thinks um, period proof underwear. And they just have like a built-in kind of pad. I don't know that I'll use either one of these, but I thought I would bring them just in case. I have several nursing bras, but I'm only going to bring two and then whatever one I'm wearing to the hospital. Um, this one is just the Medela sleep bra. It's actually stained from breastfeeding Reagan, but I know this one is super comfy and I'll be sleeping in this one. And this one is from Target. This is the Ingrid and Isabel brand. Got this at Bargain Hunt, but you can get these at Target as well. It's just got the snaps here. And this one does have padding. I do still need to wash this one, so I'm going to leave it out. So bringing a nursing cover, and this one just kind of goes over your head like so. This is like the thinnest one that I have. I have like three or four. I'll, I won't mind nursing in front of my mom and my husband and my kids and like the hospital staff, but if I have any guests or visitors, I might want to cover up, so I'm just going to bring that just in case. But since we live far away from friends and family, we didn't have any visitors last time, and the hospital is actually an hour away from where we live, so... More than likely, everyone will just come to the house once we bring baby home to meet the baby rather than coming to the hospital. It'll probably just be my mom and kids and my husband coming to the hospital. Next, I'm bringing some Thieves wipes just to like sanitize the things around me. <laughs> and it'll make the room smell really good. So I'm going to bring my little ring light. I have like full-size ring light I'm using here. And then this one is just, well, I need to charge it. And so need to bring the charger for it, but this is the Tech 2 um, ring light for your phone. And it'll just be great for like taking pictures and stuff if I need some more lighting. 
I'm bringing this hospital gown. I labored in this with Reagan. I bought it on Etsy almost five years ago when I was pregnant with Reagan. So it's a really beautiful muslin floral robe. It is floor length. If you're going to be hooked up to monitors and things, it's probably not going to be the best thing for labor, but maybe after delivery or for pictures or something after. It's just a beautiful robe and I spent like 50 bucks on it last time I was pregnant so I thought I would bring it again because it's just so pretty and it's easy to nurse in and it's really comfortable and like loose and it comes with a cute little bag to store it in as well and a little sash to go with. I just got this at Walmart. It's so soft and stretchy and I thought it would be comfortable. Um, this is by Vanity Fair and this is just like a nylon spandex nightgown it's all black because you are going to be i am going to be bleeding after whether i have a v-back or c-section there will be blood and i don't want to stain anything so i just got a black one this one was only ten dollars at walmart and it's so soft and comfy so i just want to be comfy while i'm in the hospital um with briley i was in the hospital four days with my c-section and with reagan i was only in the hospital for two days um total with labor and delivery so maybe not even two days, maybe like a day and a half actually. Next, I'm bringing this black floral robe. It actually has my name on it. Um, one of my mother-in-laws got me this, I think in the Bahamas. I can't remember. It was on one of her trips. But it's just a pretty black robe and I thought it would go with that nightgown and it's soft and, you know, something to cover up with and pretty for pictures. I'm going to bring this robe. I'm just going to bring this nursing tank top. And this is by Ingrid and Isabel. Again, seamless drop cup nursing cami. I have a few of these as well, but I'm not. Since I don't think I'll be in the hospital long, I'm just going to pack light. <laughs> I'm probably still overpacking, but I might wear that home. I'm not sure yet. And then I just have, and I think I'm just going to pack like some black yoga pants to wear home, like stretchy, soft pants. Um, just something comfortable. And I might not even do that. I might just bring like a maxi flowy maxi dress, something simple because I might not even want to put pants on. <laughs> I'm bringing this jacket that zips down the front just because sometimes I, it gets chilly in the hospital. So I just wanted to have a, something to put on, but I could still nurse in. This actually will take up a lot of room in my bag, but it's okay. I'm also going to bring my nursing pillow. I didn't bring one with Briley. I just used one of the hospital pillows. But when you're um, breastfeeding, which I plan to do, it just makes it easier to have that support, especially when if you've just had a C-section or just given birth, putting the baby right on your stomach right after is really uncomfortable. So just having that extra support, um, I found helped. I brought mine with Reagan last time. And it, I was really glad that I did. I actually used it a lot in the hospital. Next, I'm actually taking these off of my feet. Right now, there's something weird on this one. Um, just some slippers. I got these at Marshalls for like $10. These are aerosol slippers and they're really comfy. But they're also like sandals. Um, so, I'll probably wash these before I pack them. But, yeah, I'm just bringing these slippers. Her birthday's not today, but she got these for her birthday. These are like AirPods, but we have Samsung Galaxy phones. So she's going to let me um, borrow her Bluetooth earbuds in the hospital so I can listen to my um, playlist while I'm in labor or whatever. I can watch videos and not disturb anybody. I'm going to make a playlist of like praise and worship music to listen to during labor. And I'll be using these for that just to stay focused. Next, I have this little bag that I'm hoping will fit in here. If not, I might have to put some stuff in Wes's bag. <laughs> but I'm going to start with the front. And like I said, the hospital gives you a lot of stuff. I might not even need any of this. I'm probably overpacking. Actually, I'm going to take some of this out. But here I have my prenatal vitamins, some probiotics, and my vitamin D3 that I'm going to continue taking while I'm in the hospital. This is just um, like four days worth, but I probably won't even need that much. Here I've got some Lanceno disposable nursing pads. My milk probably 
It usually doesn't come in for like two or three days after I give birth, but I might be leaking. I don't know, but I'm just going to bring a few breast pads just in case. This bag, I have some toiletries. I've got a razor, hair ties, lotion, um, coconut oil, which I can use for perennial massage and makeup remover and moisturizer. Um, some hand cream, some body butter, some L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner, some Schmitz travel size Lang Lang and Colin Dula natural deodorants, <clears throat> a regular hair tie, and then one of these like bobble hair ties that they're like creaseless, which whatever, I don't care. <laughs> And then a razor, which I probably won't be shaving, like, my legs or my hoo-ha. But I have to shave my armpits, like, every day. I know that's TMI, but when I take a shower, I shave my armpits, like, every day. I just feel like they grow so fast and like, itchy and irritating. So, bring a razor for that, just in case. May or may not need it, but I'd rather have it. And then the next section of this bag... So I have some stuff stuffed in this pocket. This is Vagistine. This is not weed. <laughs> um, this is just some herbs um, for like a herbal bath. Um, I may or may not be able to take one. I am trying to have a water birth. So I may try to take an herbal sits bath after. But it just depends. I haven't given birth at this hospital. So I don't know if they're, what their rules are about that. But I'm bringing it just in case. Got right, some wipes, like feminine wipes. This is the Healthy Hoo Hoo Gentle Feminine Cleanser, Gentle Care for down there, and then some Always Clean wipes. Hospital gives you pads and mesh underwear, but I'm gonna bring some of my own just in case I prefer these because theirs can be kind of uncomfortable. So I'm bringing four of these Poise pads, um, and then these are. The Always Discreet Boutique um, underwear, and these are just like adult diapers, really, or adult underwear, so, but these are a little more, these are a little cuter and a little more fitted than the ones they give you at the hospital, and I actually used all the ones from the hospital with both of my girls, and I'll probably use these postpartum for the first week or two because I do bleed pretty heavily. So, um, I'm just bringing two of these because I know they'll give me some at the hospital. And then I'll use the others at home. In this section of this bag, I have these Pure Cosmetics Take the Day Off Reusable Face Cloth just to, like, remove any makeup. I'll probably have makeup on when I go. And then I also have these Micellar Water Face Wipes. These breast wipes I got from Amazon. These are the Bella B Nipple Nurture Breast Wipes. Soothing Organic Aloe Vera Chamomile Cleanse and Refresh After Pumping or Breastfeeding. Hypoallergenic and Paraben Free. And there are 24 wipes in here. And I'll leave, I'll try to link everything I can find below. I just have some Dermaplast. I've heard a lot of people use this after giving birth. I didn't know you could spray this on your hoo ha. After giving birth, I wish I would have known that with Reagan because I did have an episiotomy and this probably would have helped me. Um, but I just made pad sickles with her and I plan to do that again. But I'm going to bring this just in case. And I also got this Earth Mama perennial spray that I've heard great things about. But again, I've never used it. So I'm going to bring both and see which one actually helps. And hopefully both of them. I also got this After Ease by Wish Garden Herbal Remedies. This is um, relaxing herbs to ease after birth discomforts. So you just put this in your water after you give birth. I haven't used it before, but I've heard it's great for the after birth pains because after you give birth, you still have contractions and things, especially if you're breastfeeding, your uterus will start to contract back to its original size. So I've heard great things about this, so I did pack this. dry shampoo. This is a Pacifica one. My toothbrush with the SteriPod. Um, this is just like a 
This is a new toothbrush, so I just got that. Some Hello Activated Charcoal um, toothpaste. And a travel hairbrush. This is like a little bamboo brush um, by Kala. I also have some nipple butter in here. Um, this is by The Honest Company, their organic nipple balm. I also bought these Quora overnight pads. These are the organic cotton um, super absorbency pads. But I'll probably just put this in my bathroom for when I come home. I don't think I'm going to take any of them. I got the Earth Mama Perennial Balm. It's like the perennial spray, but it's a balm. And I'm just going to keep that in my bathroom for after I come home from the hospital. Next, I have this file folder. I've got my birth plan and my water birth certificate in here. And I'll be doing a video on my birth plan if you want to see that, then stick around. But I'm just bringing this folder to bring these papers in and any papers that they give us in the hospital. I can just stick in here and have them all together. Next, I'm going to show you my birth bag. This is a 31 bag my mom got me years ago. I'm going to have to organize this a little better so it'll all fit. But, um... This is just a water bottle, so I can stay hydrated because I'm not the best at remembering to drink water. So if I have something right there, it might make it a little easier. Got some gum. I got a bag of essential oils that I'll be using during labor. I will be laboring in the tub and hopefully delivering in the tub. But these are the oils I'll be bringing. I do use Young Living. I'm not bringing those because they're expensive and I don't want to lose them. And I didn't really have any of the ones that I wanted to use for labor in these. Like the ones that I needed for labor. So I'm bringing lavender. These are by M Essential. So I got these on Amazon a long time ago. But this one is Zen. And this one has anise, lime, patchouli, basil, geranium, clove, and grapefruit. Grapefruit is good for labor and delivery. This one is inner peace and it's got orange, lavender, clove, geranium, and patchouli. Clary sage is one that you're not supposed to use until you're like in labor and it's too or like until you're full term and you can rub it on your belly or diffuse it. I prefer to rub it on your belly and it's supposed to um, make your contractions a little stronger. And then peppermint is great for labor and delivery as well. So those are the essential oils I'm bringing. And I'm also bringing a travel size diffuser. I got this one at Marshall's. This is the Laura Ashley one. And this one comes with a rollerball, a travel size diffuser, and a travel case. Looks like that. But the diffuser is really small, so I thought it would be perfect. Um, once I take everything out of here and put it in, it'll fit in my little birth bag a lot better. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the box. Okay, I know y'all are probably going to think this is hilarious, but this is actually a kid's toy. Um, it's unicorn poop, but it's like one of those squishy slime balls, but it's kind of like a stress ball, but it's easier than a stress ball. And I play with this thing all the time, and I thought it might be nice to have, <laughs> just to have something to squeeze if I need it. So I don't break Wes's hand. <clears throat> this is like a thing to pull your hair back, like when you're doing your makeup, but I might need it during labor. Who knows? Some Bombas socks um, for labor in case my feet get cold in the hospital. These are brand new and they're super cute and like thick and comfy. They don't have the rubber grips on the bottom though, so. One pair of socks because I am delivering in the end of July, end of June or early July, so I may not need it. This is just my Beats Pill um, Bluetooth speaker in case I want to play some music during labor. This is just an eye mask if I want to try to get some rest during labor. This is a little change purse for the vending machines, and I've already got some dollars and some quarters in here ready to go. I got two pens and a notepad just in case I need to write anything down. Got some tissues in case I need to blow my nose. 
her from crying after giving birth. Um, this is some heat therapy patches. I might use this during labor on my back because um, I had back labor with Reagan really bad and I thought maybe this would help. I'm bringing these massagers. Um, Wes can be using these on me. This essential oil um, from Young Living. This is Pan Away. It's like a pain relieving essential oil. I need to put that one in here. And I do have coconut oil and then I have this massage oil as a carrier oil if I want to rub any of these oils on me. You don't want to rub essential oils directly on your skin. You want to mix them with a carrier oil first. This is the bra I'm going to be wearing to the hospital to wear in the birthing pool. Um, it's comfortable and I'm also going to be bringing some breast mints. And this is a Pacifica lip balm and then a Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm. Another hair tie thing for delivery. I'm bringing my Bumblebee breast pump. This is just like the Haka if you've heard of that or used that. This is what it looks like. It's not an electric breast pump. It's just, um, it catches the let down when you're nursing on one side or the other. So I'm just going to bring this. My milk probably won't even come in until I come home. So there's no point in bringing my whole big breast pump set up. And I'm just bringing some Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. I'm sure there will be some in the hospital. But I like to just have my own with me. I'm going to be bringing a letter board for when he is born. To um, take some cute pictures with that. So that was everything for my little birth bag for laboring. And of course, I've got a bag of snacks, just like protein bars and things like that. And I'll probably throw some candy in here or something. I'm going to be bringing a pillow and blanket. Um, probably also bring like a regular size pillow from my bed with me just because the hospital pillows suck. Um, so I'll probably bring one for me and Wes, um, just so we can be more comfortable during our stay. I'm going to bring this car seat cover, and obviously the car seat, which I buy Canopy Couture, or car seat canopy, yeah, Canopy Couture. It's just gray and white striped. I have a black and white one as well. Next, I'm going to show you what's in my diaper bag for baby, and I definitely overpacked for him, I feel like. This is my diaper bag for him. This is the Lily May diaper bag from Amazon. I really love it. I got a discount coupon for it in one of my bump boxes, and I absolutely love this diaper bag. It is so nice, and it's like a backpack style. So I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out. So I'm going to start with the front pockets. It has one up here. And I just have my um, swaddle up little sleep sack thing. In this front pocket, I just have some little hats, little top knot hats, one bandana bib, I may or may not need that, some socks, and some little mittens because my babies tend to scratch their face. Next pocket, I have more socks, two burp cloths, pacifiers, um, this is a bibs and a Natterson, and a pacifier clip from Madeline's box. Um, I don't know that he'll even take a passy, and I don't want to like start him off with like nipple confusion, but I just wanted to have one just in case that he needed needed it. And it, I thought they'd be cute for pictures, too. <laughs> and then I also have my little um, pacifier pod in here. And it has a Nook Passy in it. And I might bring, I have several different brands. I don't know which brand he'll take, if any. So I just wanted to bring, like, one of each brand or one of each style. I also plan to bring a bottle and a, a formula dispenser. I did get some Honest Company organic formula and I have several different style of bottles but I need to wash and sanitize them before I pack them. I'll probably bring 
two different kinds of bottles, probably Avent and like Comotomo. Um, all of my babies have liked Avent so far, so I'll definitely bring that one. But breastfed babies can just be particular about nipples, so um, he may not even need a bottle, but I'm just going to bring one with some formula just in case. Breath. I'm sorry if I'm a little unenergetic in this video, but it's been a really long day. I had my 36 week appointment today. I got sick again today. I got my group B strip swab. I got checked. I am one centimeter dilated. I'm only 36 weeks in two days, but I just haven't felt the best today. So, but I wanted to get this video done before I go into labor. So here we are. So this is the blanket I'll be bringing him. He will be born end of June, early July, so he probably won't even need a thick blanket. But this is the favorite, my favorite one that I have for him. Four onesies. The hospital gives you like everything you need as far as hats, onesies, um, swaddles even. Um, at both of the hospitals I've delivered at before. I haven't delivered at this one. But in my past experiences, they give you all that stuff, but I wanted to bring some cute stuff to change him into for pictures and going home and things like that. I don't have his going home outfit in here because I actually ordered it last night. So it's on the way. So hopefully it will come before I go in labor. If not, he'll just be wearing one of these onesies home. But I got two newborn onesies and then two zero to three month onesies. I'm bringing this little nightgown for him to sleep in. It'll, if we stay overnight, it'll just be something easy i love these gowns because they're easy to change them at night and this one says welcome to the world and then it has the little mitts like you can fold these over their little hands so they don't scratch themselves bringing two swaddles one is like flannel and one is muslin it's just white and then this one's white and gray stripes um this bag has bottle holders and a changing pad in it i'm bringing my baby shusher i didn't have the this with either girl but i've heard great things about it so i wanted to bring it with it just shushes your baby for you this little pptp thing um this one's by munchkin um you just cover their little wee wee when you're changing their diaper this is my first experience with a boy so i've heard these are good to have when you're doing diaper changes. We will be getting him circumcised, um, but I don't know if he'll be getting it at the hospital or two weeks after. It just depends on their schedule, so they'll let me know which they can do. Please comment below all about circumcision because I know nothing about it. I've got two girls. This is my first boy, so I don't even know what to expect or anything, so... So here I've got this Little Remedies Sterile Saline Mist. Um, it says it's safe for newborns, but it's just like a saline mist for their nose. Sometimes they have like leftover mucus or they have trouble breathing when they're first born. Rayan definitely did. She had to sleep inclined. She just, and she ended up having to have a nebulizer as soon as we got home from the hospital um, for some respiratory issues that she had. So I thought I would pack this just in case. Um, usually the hospital gives you like a bulb syringe, so I didn't pack that. So I brought this Baby Gannix cold relief chest rub. I don't know the age limit on here, like how old they need to be to use this. Just got some more hand sanitizer spray in here. This is the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer Spray. Hello Bello Baby Wipes. This company in newborn diapers, which is just look how freaking cute these are. They're so tiny. I forget how tiny they are. But I've got one, two, three. I've got six diapers here. Um, Honest Company baby lotion. Um, unscented boogie wipes. Let's pack it in here where I've got a brush and a comb. I think he's going to have a lot of hair. I don't know though. Some, um, Neil's Yard Remedies Baby Balm. It's like organic diaper cream. And then I have a little teething bracelet. Um, I probably won't be using that right away, but I've got it in there either way. 
And then I have this Badger Organic Baby Balm. This is Chamomile and Calendula. And I believe that is everything for my diaper bag. And like I said, I have a cute swaddle and a cute going home outfit on the way for him. Um, hopefully it gets here before I go into labor. I think it will, but we'll see. If not, I'll just find something else or he'll just wear one of these onesies home and it'll be okay. I believe that is everything. I feel like I'm forgetting something major. If I'm forgetting something, please comment below and let me know what you think I should pack or leave. I'm probably going to pack some more candy. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something important, but I just, I can't think of it right now. So I pretty much packed the whole house and last time I was only in the hospital for like a day and a half, maybe two days. So I may not even need all this, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So thank you if you stuck around to the end of this video. I know it was a little bit longer, but I just wanted to, um, this is my third baby. So I kind of know what I used and what I didn't use last time. And I don't feel like I was very prepared with the last two. And now I know exactly what I used and what I needed and what I wanted. And I feel like I'm overly prepared and I'd much rather be I really prepared and then not have everything I need this time and this is probably my last baby that I'll be giving birth to so yeah I just kind of went a little overboard but you know it's my last one so anyway that is everything for this video I hope you enjoyed I hope this was helpful if you're trying to figure out what to pack in your hospital bag let me know if you've packed yours how far along you are um, all of that, and again, if there's anything I forgot or anything you think I shouldn't have packed, comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help me out so, so much. I post mommy content, lifestyle content, vlogs, you name it, just whatever we're doing that I feel like is interesting enough to film, it's here. So, thanks again for watching. I love you, and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye. Hi, guys. So, I forgot to mention yesterday um, that I will also be bringing my camera bag and laptop, excuse my picture, it fell off the nail and I gotta get Wes to fix it. <laughs> but um, my bump box came in today and it came with a headband and some socks with rubber grippies on the bottom that say bump life. So I'm gonna stick those in my bag and I'm also gonna bring my vlogging camera, my laptop, and my tripod so I can get a little birth vlog but I thought I would throw this in here because those are the things that I forgot and I also forgot to mention I'm gonna bring my birthing ball but it's upstairs and I just forgot to mention that but yeah I think that's everything I'm gonna bring so I got these at Madeline's box it's just a swaddle a hat a little passy clip and then one of their loved baby onesies so cute.